Just the final couple of minutes, um, you know, they had their most powerful phase of play in the game in the, the final two corners. The, the goalkeeper was thrown up, he had a terrific header. Uh, Federici made a great save, Shane Long made a great save off the line. It was uh, all action stuff and to get the points after that was was a relief, definitely. It was a win. Was it a better performance as well, do you think, than uh, against uh, Nottingham Forest, for example? Uh, no, I don't think so, to be honest. Um, you know, there's not a great deal of daylight between any of the teams at the moment. I thought we were the better team against Sheffield Wednesday, but I thought we were the better team against Nuts Forest. But because we got beat, people interpret the game totally differently. And if you look at it again, we were the better team. Um, we just didn't get the break, certainly in the first half, and we were poor second. But in this particular game, we, um, I thought we just edged it the full 90 minutes. And it's funny how the uh, league results have gone with Wolves and Birmingham also winning. Some irony about that, isn't there? Um, yeah, it, 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 it's what you, you almost expect. You know, when we get beaten, we all get beat, and then we all win. Um, it makes it very interesting, and it just shows you, I think, on a week-to-week basis, how close this division is. You know, some teams are playing catch-up, some teams have had their noses in front, and now it's up to them to stay there. You talked in the build-up about it perhaps being good to be away from the Medeski Stadium. Is that how it turned out? Did it feel a bit of the pressure, perhaps, from the crowd was off you? Well, we, we have no pressure from the crowd. It was just the, the circumstances. We had three games at home in, in 20-odd days, and I think, you know, that's a bit... Um, not having had a strong start for that early period... Um, we self-inflicted pressure. It wasn't pressure from the crowd. Um, and again, you know, just the whole environment was same, same. And it's uh, a footballer is likes to have a set routine, and that routine normally is one home, one away, or variations thereon. To have three home games over such a long period turned out to be a strain. Although I must admit, at the beginning of the month. I thought it was a real, uh, going to be a strong phase for us, and it just never turned out that way. Away again this weekend. Uh, how are you looking on the injury front? Firstly, you had a couple of uh, concerns. J Tab, for example, on Tuesday night. Is he going to be okay for this weekend? I don't know. He trained today, and uh, Kevin Doyle will do a little bit today. And you know, we got three or four knocks, as, as you would expect at this stage of the season. Certainly, with the game so congested. Um, you know, we, we're going to have to to look closely and and see. Uh, who's 100% because the the pitch down at Plymouth uh, the report we've had isn't the best it's a bit of a, uh, a a tough pitch to play on so you need players who are physically 100% fit you can't go into that game with gamble players but at least you're used to a, a tough pitch at the moment well yeah, yeah but as we found out it's not always to your advantage you know um, I think uh, I can remember many, many years ago, Derby County at the old uh, baseball ground had the worst pitch ever, but they played the most beautiful football on it. Um, things have changed now. Cheers, thanks. Um, uh, most of your games from now on, Steve, are uh, against teams in the bottom half of the table, <coughs> I think, or Sheffield you know, United and Fulham. Well, Is that a good or bad thing? <laughs> no, it makes no difference because the bottom half of the table, now the teams who've they're had the a poor, teams, aren't they? yeah, yeah, they're the ones who are coming into great runs of form and you know we've had that recently all the teams we've been playing have had a little resurgence you know in some you know Preston and Bristol both had strong runs before they played us Forest just had a you know I think they had a return of players which made them stronger just by coincidence when they played us so um, you know now it's down it, it makes no difference I don't think we're uh, the teams you play against are in the table. The significance is when two top teams play each other, because you know there's not going to be two teams picking up three points each. You know, so the implications of that as the season progresses uh, take on more value. How much of an advantage is it that a significant number of your team have been promoted from the championship before they've been here? I, I don't think it is a, any advantage whatsoever, because uh, you know our championship winning team a couple of years back, we didn't have one player who'd been through that promotion from the championship uh, into the premiership business before and we feel and felt at the time that that hunger and desire to achieve that goal was one of our significant pluses and uh, now we have a, a, we've had uh, an awful lot of players who've you know been there and done it and you know I hope that gives them a hunger to achieve that again but certainly we were at our 
our hungriest when no one had been there and done it. And it was like the biggest thing for each and every one of them. There's parallels in between uh, Wolves this year and yourselves three years ago, then, what do you think? They're a very young team, they haven't done it before. No, well, this time three years ago, we'd done it. We were there. We, in the middle of March, we were promoted. You know, it's a different. You know, we were we were pushing on from the front, and we were good front runners. Um, Wolves are still right at the top of the tree, even though they've had a poor run. Uh, they're right at the top, and you've got to respect them for that. They've got the points in the bag. Everyone else is playing catch up. Um, but you know, sometimes when you're in that tight pack of teams chasing for one prize then you know certain players get edgy if it's uh, Shane Long any thoughts for the start maybe yeah, yeah. there's good good performance during the week well again you know he wouldn't like me for saying this but he's our biggest impact substitute and has been for some time he comes on and he makes a difference consistently and that's hard to do you know you can run around and, and sort of crash into things and it looks if you have an effect but when you actually score goals and save goals then you really are having an effect um, you know he's desperate to start he doesn't want to be tagged as a, a substitute for any longer uh, it could well be the right environment for him to come in I was talking talk earlier week about Forrest wanting to take Leroy Lito on loan is that well, I, w I wouldn't talk about that at the moment um, you know we're just concentrating on the game on Saturday <laughs> well, it, it, it's it's gossip, and I don't want to no, chat about gossip. Yeah. You know, I, I'm I'm forever answering about things that have been gossiped about. So rather than give it any credibility, I'll just ignore it. I would definitely because it's my job to try and get the best group of players I can. Um, and you know, if I'm not doing that, then I'm I'm shirking. So I don't want to be accused of that. Uh, I would look to strengthen if I if I could, if I felt somebody was available who would strengthen us. Nothing imminent. No, no, no. And it, it depends on injuries. You know, now with such a short space of time, you know, somebody's out for two weeks, and you can miss four or five games. You know, we didn't have four or five games in over a month. The other. Uh, not so long back, so uh, now it's a, it's, a, it's a little bit more urgent to to know what's out there and what would be available if you had to do something quick. There are some championship sides that got huge amounts of loan players, haven't they? It seems like that's the way they do it. Well, the, the, the loan the loan system is a total nonsense. I've said this many times. You know, if you're going to have a transfer window, then it, you should be. You know, it's termed emergency loan at the moment. The only emergency loan should be a goalkeeper. Every other loan should be stopped at the end of January.